Well, I got a lot of this body. There it is over there. Cut off this Jeep. And as you can see, it's pretty bad. Frame's really bad, really soft, crinkled and bent. Bunch of places. Here's the pile of the back end I cut off. Right here, the frame was cracked completely in half. So I just scabbed on a piece with my uh, flux core welder just to keep it straight. But after looking at it, all the connections for like the shocks and everything, they're all pretty shot. And uh, yeah, things in really bad shape, this frame. And when I got to thinking about, I was gonna rebuild the frame. So what I did was I went and I went and got a, uh, like a 50 something, uh, 57, I think, CJ5. And um, hey, I can put it in here, right here, I'm not sure. This is a donor Jeep. As you can see, it's all shot, body shot, frame shot, holes in the frame. I don't know if you can see it down there. Yeah, you can see that down there. But what this thing has, which is good, is it has, oh, here it is. All the guy wanted from this was this. So I gotta cut this off for him, that plow thing. But what's in here is a V6. Look at that. And it has, you can see right there, down in there, you can see it down there, see it down there? Power steering. So we gotta get this motor, engine, and transmission in here. I would open this door, but it'll fall off. Here, maybe I can get in the other one. Let me get over here. Look at this thing, it's hilarious. Oh, it's got a roll bar we're gonna use. And um, here, let me see. Got a bungee cord holding the door up. See there? Let's see how rotted out this thing is. This is what you get in the Pennsylvania area. Yep. But what's good is we got a good transmission, transfer case, all made it to that motor already. And uh, yeah. So all you gotta do is get this body cut off. Oh, and these axles. These are pretty good hubs there, even though I got worn hubs on the other one. Uh, these axles are four inches wider, I think in the front and two inches wider in the back. But like I said, this here is gonna be the motor for the Willys CJ2A. Oh, this is a, I think it's a 57 CJ5. I don't know. I can't figure out the tag here, what it is, but I'm pretty sure it's like in the 50s. But we'll be stealing a lot of parts off of this one or the other one. It's got deep dish wheels. Get them sandblasted and everything. So I got to give this back to that guy too, this hydraulic lever thing. Because that blade, that snow blade had side to side and up and down. It was a nice snow blade. But there's that. So we'll, uh, we'll get some parts off of this one. Once I get the body cut off, we got to take it down to my house. There it is. So what I did was yesterday, I drove out to uh, Nashville, Indiana, which is a 800 and 60 mile round trip yesterday. It was a long day yesterday. And I went out there, I got a whole new body here. And the, uh, I mean a whole new body. Grill, fenders, hood, tub. And I picked up a brand new frame, still wrapped in plastic. I trucked this back last night Man, it was a long day driving. But anyway, this is uh, what it is. 
and where I'm at. So I'm gonna be uh, pretty much the original Jeep. I need like the steering trunnion, unless I use that power steering off that other one. But this frame here, it's new, it's already boxed. Uh, everything like that, they made some improvements. The shock mounts are, are better, thicker metal, stuff like that, it's upgraded. So I'm not gonna be original, but I mean like even the windshield, I don't know if you can see it there. See it's stamp willies and so is the tailgate that come with it. I think it's over there. There it is there. See it's stamp willies in there. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm just gonna rebuild the whole thing. Like these things here, nice and thick. The toe supports and stuff. So I just threw it all in here. It's been raining like hell today. But that's where I'm at with the Jeep. Just gonna build a new Jeep. So thanks for watching the video.